The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. Welcome to Wearable Wednesday, everybody. Today we're making another fun Flora project. It's this volume meter tie. It uses the Flora RGB NeoPixels and our Adafruit microphone amplifier breakout to be reactive to sound. It'll be hard to tie this tie once it's full of electronics, so we're using this police uniform issue breakaway tie with Velcro at the back, and the knot is already pre-tied for us. Use Taylor's chalk to draw a line straight down the center of the tie and space out your 16 pixels evenly. Also use Taylor's chalk to mark the location of each pixel. The connections to the pixels will be made with conductive thread, and you can start with one of the ground pads, which will connect to the negative bus on the pixels. Conductive thread is easy to work with if you've watched our conductive thread tips video, so go ahead and do that now. I'll still be here when you get back. As you learned, the best way to finish off a knot with conductive thread is with a little bit of clear nail polish. Stitch over to the ground pad on your first pixel. It's marked with a little minus sign. And then stitch many times around the pad to form a secure mechanical and electrical connection before then stitching over to another ground pad on your second pixel. All of the ground pads on all of your pixels will be connected by the same piece of conductive thread. But the sound in town is coming from the clown. Ugh, I really wish it wasn't coming from the clown. Stitch another line connecting pin D6 to the input pin on your first pixel. It's the one with the little inward facing arrow. And this time you're gonna cut the thread at both ends. Only a small segment of conductive thread connects between each pixel to make a big long chain that the flora can recognize as individually addressable LEDs. I found that when stitching the data lines between the pixels, I like to start at the midpoint between the two pixels, stitch over to one pixel, then back to the other, then back to the midpoint again. Uh, not only does this provide a two conductive thread connection, it's kind of doubled over in there, but it also keeps the knotted part of the conductive thread away from your circuit board. So if you do have any fraying ends, they're not going to lean over and touch any components on the board and cause problems with your circuit. If you've seen any of our other Flora Pixel projects, like the Pixel Brooch or the GPS Jacket, you know the last connection we need to make is to VBAT, that's the voltage coming in from the battery. And we'll connect that to the power pads on the pixels, that's marked with a little plus sign. And you can see here I'm far from the end of the strand. It doesn't really matter which pixel you start with, since all of the power pads will be connected together with one long piece of conductive thread, just like ground. After you've stitched up a few pixels, it's a good idea to test them out. Check for shorts with your multimeter, making sure to keep your power and ground threads far away from each other, and then load up the strand test code for the NeoPixels. If all goes well, you can continue on your sewing journey. I discovered that I liked to sew the data lines first because they aligned with that center line of my tie, followed by picking up the ground and power buses and running them all the way up the tie. Test this chain of 16 pixels before proceeding to the next step, which is to prepare and install the microphone amplifier. I've chosen to paint mine in nice shade of black to match the tie. To keep the microphone close to the wearer's voice box, we'll connect it to the floor with a long piece of ribbon cable. You'll need three wires. And you can run this ribbon cable through the body of the tie. And when you get to the top, lift the knot a little bit and cut a small hole with a seam ripper. The hole won't be visible since it's kind of inside the knot, but the ribbon cable can come out and connect to the microphone. Separate, strip, and solder these three wires to the three holes on your microphone amplifier breakout. Clip off any excess leads. But if you're determined to keep this project solder free, you can substitute that ribbon wire with our multi-channel conductive thread ribbon. Anchor your microphone amplifier to the knot on your tie with some plain black thread. Then move on down to the flora end and strip those ribbon wires and solder them to the corresponding pins on the flora. Don't forget that a full circuit diagram is available for this project on the Adafruit learning system. It's like a jungle. Sometimes it makes me wonder how I keep from going under. 
Load up one of the provided Arduino sketches for this project and flip your power switch to on to go into battery mode. Then make a little noise to test it out. This project is powered by a rechargeable lithium polymer battery. I sewed a little pouch out of a piece of scrap fabric and tucked the battery into the pocket and the wire down to the flora. Remove it from the tie for recharging, and then when it's all done, you can simply slide it back into the pocket and plug it back into your flora. So for more details, you can find a full tutorial for this project on the Adafruit Learning System. And share your wearables projects with us on our weekly show and tell on Google+. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube and ask your doctor if Amplify is right for you.